All right guys, how you doing? And welcome to my first ever video on this channel. Today I'm gonna do an episode on ranking each Doctor Who from worst to best. 13 Doctors I'm gonna rank. Okay, my first Doctor I'm gonna rank is 13th place, I'm gonna put Paul McGann, the eighth Doctor. He wasn't great. He was only there for one, one episode Maybe two, but we're not going to class the mini episode when he regenerated from John Pertwee. We're not going to put John Pertwee in there. That would be 14, there's actually 13. So he was only in one episode, which was the Doctor Who, the movie, which wasn't good. I didn't like it at all. And all I did was, I watched it. Sylvester McCoy regenerated into Paul McGann. He was up, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Let's move on. Um, second, my 12th place Doctor is going to be Colin Baker, the 6th Doctor. Now, the reason why I'm putting the 6th Doctor in tw in um, 12th place is because, in the end, he refused to regenerate. I'm not joking, he refused to regenerate into Sylvester McCoy, the 7th Doctor. Also, I watched it and he strangled his own companion. How bad is that? That is so terrible. I did not want that to happen. Let's hope we get... If Colin Baker does come back, which I hope he doesn't, I'm not watching Doctor Who ever again. So if Colin Baker does come back, even though, if he comes back as, like, and that, like usually with like John Pertwee, we had like the three Doctors and Peter Davidson have the five Doctors. If he comes back as like the, what, the old doc Doctors thing, whatever, the five Doctors, the six Doctors, the seven, 13 Doctors, whatever. And if he comes back, I'm not going to watch that episode because I didn't like him. 11th place, I'm going to put in Jodie Whittaker, the 13th Doctor. Now, the ratings for the first series wasn't good. I don't blame them. I did not like the way he, I mean, not he, she, went on. First episode was the woman, a woman felt the woman that fell to earth. We obviously knew the woman was going to fall to earth. The woman was obviously going to fall to earth. Second episode, the ghost monument. The TARDIS was her ghost monument. I thought it was going to be an actual ghost. That would be it. I didn't like that. Second episode, Rosa. Rosa Parks. It's history. I, 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 I didn't know anything about Rosa Parks until I watched it. But it's about history. I want to go in the future. The rest of them, etc, etc. Like... And the witches, the witch episode, the witch familiar, or whatever it's called, I think it's witch familiar. It wasn't that good as the other episodes of Doctor Who. Now series 12 is out, Spy 4 1, Spy 4 2, The Master is back. I'm glad The Master is back out. Sunday it's episode 3, and it says that's going to be the most scariest episode ever. The most scariest episode ever. Can't wait. Tenth, now in tenth place, I'm gonna put Sylvester McCoy, the seventh Doctor. Now Sylvester McCoy was okay. He was he, he was in the Doctor Who movie, but we didn't see him regenerate at the end of his actual series. We saw him regenerate in the movie trilogy or whatever you call it, the movie Do Doctor Who the movie into form again. I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't like it how he does it. I don't know how he done it. I just don't know. I don't know how he done it. I, I just don't want him to do it. It's absolutely crazy. Right, okay. Um, ninth place, I'm going to put William Hartnell. The first ever Doctor Who. Right, the first ever Doctor Who. I don't know why i done that. First ever Doctor Who was absolutely... Oh my God, how, how do I explain it? First episode was okay. The Daleks, we met the Daleks for the first time. I was quite scared. I was quite scared. And then after that, after the second episode, I said, you know what, the Daleks, are not, they're not real, they're not scary. It was, it was terrifying at the start. And I walked into it, I said, I like this. And then William Hartnell, nah, I don't like him. I was going to watch him, I just don't like him. I just didn't like him. Right, eighth place, I'm going to put Peter Davison, the fifth Doctor. Now, Peter Davison was good. The reason I'm putting him there is because his clothes. I did not like his clothes that he was wearing acting. 
he was absolutely how would I say it, um, ridiculous. The little celery on his top was okay, but he's wearing cricket clothes. And we saw him one episode playing cricket. You're here, you're not in the acting for playing cricket. You're here to act and fight monsters, not to play cricket. So I hope if he comes back from another series, like the doctors or something, if he comes back, I hope he doesn't, hope he doesn't play cricket. If he does, Doctor Who's going to be dead. Okay, right. Seventh place, Patrick Troughton, the first Doctor. Now the, not, not, not the first Doctor, the second Doctor. He was all right, and then down. He dropped right down. The War Games was the last episode, ten parts. We had to wait ten episodes, ten parts, until he actually regenerated into John Pertwee. I did not, at the end of it, we did not see him regenerate. We, we saw him regenerate, but not into John Pertwee. We saw him regenerate with all the, I think it was like, it looks like he was holding something that was going round and round and round and getting, getting away from it, getting away, right away from him. But I did not like it. And I mean, I did not like the way he, I did not like the way he acted out, regenerating into the John Pertwee. Then, John Pertwee, the first episode, we saw him, we had to wait around two episodes before we knew he was the Doctor. Because I, I didn't know he was, I didn't know, I didn't, I, don't, I didn't know he was the Doctor until we figured out, and then, and spearhead from space with the Ottens and all that, we figured out he was a doctor. He went in the shower, he put his clothes on, and I said, that's a doctor, isn't it, yeah. Okay, um, eighth place, I'm gonna put, no, not eighth, sixth place, I'm gonna put John Pertwee. Again, again, I've, I've already explained about John Pertwee, so I may as well just move on. Right, sixth, right, fifth place, I'm gonna put Tom Baker. He was class, he was on the longest. A long series, I do not like that. I like to go quick. I like it quick because I like to see who the next, who the next Doctor is going to be. Well, he was on for absolutely ages. I think seven and a bit, seven and a seven years, nearly seven years going on to eight. Right? Seven years going on to eight years. It was absolutely ridiculous. I watched them. I put his ratings right down. He, he was a ten out of ten at the start, and then I moved and, and then I moved him right back down to how do I say it? Right down to two rating, two out of ten. I I can't I can't be I, I do not want to talk about him again. Let's move on. And let's hope Tom Baker does not come back again. Okay, right. In fourth place, Peter Capaldi, the twelfth Doctor. He was funny, he was class, I liked him, um, I liked the Zygon episode, I liked the first episode with the dinosaur, like when Matt Smith regenerated into Peter Capaldi, 11th Doctor, into the 12th Doctor, um, they got stuck in the dinosaur's throat, which was kind of, it was kind of funny, it was kind of funny, but not at the same time, if you know what I mean, I hope you do know what I mean, um, <laughs> So yeah, Twelfth Doctor, he was class, he was funny, and I absolutely loved him. I liked him, I loved him. I loved him as an actor, I loved him as a friend, you know. But he's going to die soon, which is going to be quite heartbreaking. Everyone dies soon. Every, everyone's going to die soon, aren't they? Even I'm going to die in about, what? I'm going to die in about oh, 98, 90 years. I want to live to 100. Okay, I shouldn't, be, I shouldn't be talking about that. Okay, third Doctor, we not third Doctor, third place, I'm going to put Christopher Eccleston, the ninth Doctor. Now, he was alright, he was only on for one series. If he was on for more than one, I'd probably put him in second or first, but the top three, for third place, Christopher Eccleston. He ruined the thing. I didn't like him, he was rubbish, the first, he only had one companion, well, one, two, and three. At one which was um, Rose Tyler, two which was Jackie Tyler, and three which was Mickey Smith. All the monsters in there were at one episode with the Dalek was Rusty, 
with all the green, the green rusty browny greeny Dalek, and then the end, and then and then and that and then at the end of the episode, I mean not the end, not the end of the episode, at the end of the series, we saw um we saw the dog with more Daleks and the bottoms of bottoms of the way when he regenerated into David Tennant, which was kind of class. So I did not, but apart from that, I did not like him. But apart from that, I did like. The companions. I did like the companions. I liked Rose. I liked them. Um, I liked how Jackie acted out. I liked how Mickey Smith acted. I like. I like. I liked the how Mickey Smith was Rose Tyler's boyfriend, which was kind of, kind of obvious. I knew at the start. I knew at the start. Yeah, at the start of the season that they were dating each other. Let's move on. Okay, second place. I've got to put David Tennant, the tenth Doctor. Now. David Tennant was absolutely, absolutely class. I've got a photo of him there. There, there we go. Photo of him there, or there. Photo, photo of him there, photo of him there. That's where, yeah, there. With a silent man and Dalek with the Doctor Who sign at the back. You see, and um, all that. That is class. I've got a Doctor Who kind of there with Jodie Whittaker on, and yeah, there, and Doctor Who. Other one there, and another one there. So, David Tennant was class, but I, I would say I wouldn't be on top. But here's who I'm going to put a top place. First place, Matt Smith. Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor, was absolutely great. I liked his first episode when he regenerated, he regenerated David Tennant regenerated. David Tennant was, when David Tennant regenerated, I'm going to go back to David Tennant, when David Tennant regenerated, it was heartbreaking. I was in tears when David Tennant regenerated, I'm not joking, I was in tears when David Tennant regenerated in 2010. First part of the Christmas, um, Christmas special, the special, whatever you call it, was Christmas Day, the first part of the End of Time Part 1, or End of Time Part 1, the first part of the End of, end of Time. And then the second part was on New Year's Day. I don't wait ages to make him regenerate, but he, he said, I don't want to go, which was kind of, was kind of heartbreaking. And it was, well, it wasn't kind of heartbreaking. It was definitely heartbreaking. I'm sure you guys were heartbreaking as well. Um, Yeah, let's move on to the first place, which is Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor. He was class. I like him. I can't. I like him so much, I can't explain why I put him in first place. He's so good, I cannot put him in first place. I, I, I can't put him in first place, but I can't explain why I put him in first place, which is a bit annoying. I plan, I, I, I wanted to have a reason why I put him in first place, but I couldn't have a reason. So, yeah. Well, that is it for me today. Now the video is going to be on Sunday when I tell you about episode three of no not not on sunday tomorrow when i'm going to tell you where i'm going to read the masters from worst to best i'll see you tomorrow and you know just be good i'm, I'm back to school tomorrow so who my friends at school are watching this video subscribe it subscribe it put a like put not put notifications on and i will see you tomorrow goodbye